<laughs> doing the morning thing again. Um, so anyway, I was in Stickham last night, and uh, that stupid math fails. Um, and uh, yeah, it really sucked. I mean, you can't talk to these phantasmic oracles. Uh, you know, left of center, pyro, mat, uh, math fails, and then the, the sundry little dopey intellectuals who were also full of themselves. Um, you know, they all read a couple of philosophy books, and so then they all, you know, they, they all have credentials um, because they can mimic some jargon they read in a book. Uh, but they can't argue we're shit. And uh, so, you know, the argument just basically deflated to uh, the accusation that, uh, you know, everything I'm talking about has to do with my psychology, not uh, a logical argument. And, uh, you know, it's just defend your life again bullshit. And so, fuck that shit. Um, but, yeah, they just, you know, you, you can present the argument and they'll just keep running away from it. And their argument basically is... Uh, you know, I pet a little ducky yesterday, and that makes up for cholera and polio both, because I petted a ducky. Um, you know, Matt's more like, I, I saw a twinkly star, you know, and I came in my pants, and so life is worth living because I saw a twinkly star. Uh, there's a real equation here somewhere. You know, this idea, like I said, we all can do it. We can look at people like a heroin addict, and we can say... We can all say pretty emphatically uh, the price that guy's paying for his jollies is too high. We can all look at it and we can see it and we can say it. Um, and it's just bullshit that we can't point the same kind of critical eye at our own existence uh, at the human race period and say, ah, yeah, they're just tr chasing an illusion of this thing called satisfaction. You'll never possess it, um, not in any real sense, not for any durable period of time uh, you're just driven by addiction desire same thing um, and uh, that's the game and there's nothing of value in that little game uh, there, there's nothing uh, to compensate uh, let's say I mean maybe it's a harmless game if you didn't have all the really horrid stuff on the other side like the six-year-old kid with cancer or you know, the horrible shit that people have to go through. Buildings collapse on them. They spend five days dying under a pile of rubble. I mean, all kinds of little horrors that consciousness has to endure. And when you look at the natural world, it's a real um, bloodbath. And uh, people like Matt will even justify that because it's a pretty green color. It's all okay, okay? It's not an insidious, uh, you know, slaughterhouse. No, because it's painted green it's all okay. I guess the slaughterhouse is kind of a good key word here just because um, on reflection I sort of realized that all these phantasmagoricals uh, none of them are vegetarians. Uh, you know, surprise, surprise. Um, you know, uh, I, I mean I don't know if that means anything or not but it, you know, because the, you know, with the, uh, the phantasmagoricals are the, the Jasper Abbey types who are just these um, self-obsessed everything is subjective kind of jackasses who don't seem to be able to engage in any philosophical conversation about concepts like value. Uh, they, de they declare that it's not an objective or philosophical concept, it, they, that it can only be known personally and uh, by asking some body part, uh, you know, what value means. <laughs> you know, you can't ask your brain to answer the question, your intellect, your knowledge base. Now, you can only ask some little nerve in, um, to make the determination. And it's just such a crock of shit. Uh, we're, we're perfectly capable of making value judgments every day about all kinds of things and don't feel any apprehension that we've bi violated some sort of subjective, objective rules in doing so. So, anyway, it was very disappointing. Um, so I probably won't go back to that fucking room. Uh, because it's just, uh, they're not up to the argument, so I'll just make videos, I'll just attack them in videos and say the hell with it. Um, and attack is what it's probably going to become, because I'm really getting tired of it. They're just spreading, they're just spreading religion. Uh, that's all they're doing. It's the spiritual crap is more insidious than uh, Catholicism, in my opinion. Catholicism you can fight because it's just dumb dogma. 
this this made up philosophy crap veiled in a bunch of intellectual jargon is uh, so much more it's malicious it's a malicious attack against the truth they don't want to deal with the reality of our existence our fucking parents you know our parent was just a little bit of reproducing chemistry it had no goddamn cause or purpose to to, to inject this whole bullshit thing and we in the end are just eccentric versions of goddamn fungus uh, there's nothing special in this um, arrangement and it's incredibly inefficient um, much more need is created than is ever satisfied and if people people have got to reduce the equation to that simple um, there's no need behind the need there's no legitimate cause so to speak behind the causes and so you don't endorse a system of cause and effect unless you can justify the cause that caused the cause and effect and we can't do that we can't justify the first little reproducing jackass organism and we have no business justifying ourselves just because we have enough brains to, to love ourselves it's a crock of shit um, this place is fundamentally broken and people have to get a little bit discouraged and disgusted or nothing's going to change people will just keep thinking they're entitled to their kids they're entitled to their extravagant life um, and uh, so fuck these people um, I mean, the good news is, is you know, <laughs> because human beings can't get over themselves, they, they might likely provide an opportunity for somebody with a brain to blow this planet to hell. And, uh, you know, so that's the one hope we have, is that somebody will uh, assassinate this stupid goddamn human race uh, before it sentences itself to, uh, you know, a, a perpetual um, addiction to uh, a bad drug <laughs> the lies of you know happy ducky and shiny star <laughs> it just ain't ain't food for a real brain oh, fuckers